Hi guys, this is AJ Stanexo and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly subscribe, click on the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Um, today we'll be learning how to make our leggings. Leggings is an outfit that is in almost every girl's wardrobe. You have different types. You have the one that is as long to your ankle. You have the one that stops on your knee. But today we're going to make it a long leggings where you can customize and stop on your knee level. And you're going to have fun with this. But just in case you like this video, you like the class, just give me a thumbs up. I'll be very happy to see that. So let's go back to the work table. For leggings making, the measurements we'll be needing are waist measurements, the hip measurements, the hip drop, the crotch, the tie, the waist to knee, which is the knee length, the round knee, and the ankle measurements. So let's get started. So for our waist measurement, we divide by four. For this person's waist measurement is 35 divided by 4 is 8.75 we'll be subtracting one from this figure because it's a leggings and we want the waist to sit well on the waist so 8.75 minus 1 inch is 7.75 so just mark it and don't forget our, our pattern paper is folding to two so one part is representing the front and the other part is representing the back of our leggings so 7.75 First of all, I forgot, let's take one and a half, mark it out. You see the reason why we're marking one and a half inch out. So from here, we take our waist line, the basis for our waist measurement now. So here we said we're taking 7.75, so this is it. Then from the waist line, we take our hip drop. Hip drop is 8 inches. On that 8 inches, you draw a line which is representing your hip line. So this is the waistline. This is the hip line. On the hip line, take your hip measurement. The person's hip measurement is 44 divided by 2 is 11. So mark 11. Then take your crotch depth. The crotch depth is 10. So on the crotch depth, you mark it and take your tie measurement. Some people call it tie, some people call it lap. So whatever the case may be. So you take your tie measurement. Your tie measurement you are dividing by two. For your waist you divide by four. Your hip you divide by four. But your tie you divide by two. So for your tie measurement you say twenty eight. This person's tie is twenty eight divided by two is fourteen, which is exact paper. So mark fourteen. Then we'll take our waist to knee measurement, which is generally twenty two for an average person. So for an average adult twenty two on this line now. Okay, we'll mark it. We we'll just roll the line. This is our knee line. Knee line. Let's not forget we are tagging it. This is our tie line. Where we took our tie measurement. This is our hip line. We took our hip measurement. This is our waist line. We took our waist measurement. So on our knee line, you take your knee measurement, your round knee. Put your tape around your knee and take your knee measurement. So divide the measurement, you have divide by two. This uh, round knee is 18.5 divided by two is 9.5. Two five, but because we want it the the leggings to be firm on the knee, we we'll subtract one inch. But we didn't subtract for the hip, we didn't subtract for the tie. Well, we only subtracted for the waist. We are subtracting for the knee, and we we'll subtract for the ankle. So our value is nine point two five. The knee divided by two is nine point two five. So minus one is eight point two five. You mark. Then you take your trouser length or your leggings length where you ever even so if you want your leggings to stop on your knee this is where you take as your aim but i want the leggings to go to the ankle so we are doing 37 the waist to the ankle is 37 and i'm adding one inch as sewing allowance to sew to fold the end so it's on that line 38 i'll take my ankle measurements now for this um, person, the ankle measurement is 13.5. We said we divide by 2. 13.5 divided by 2 is 6.75. And we said because once it's a leggings, we want it to be firm. We subtract 1 inch, so it will now be 5.75. So this is it. So we join these points, okay, we just need an M line of trouser length. So we join these points together. We join the ankle to the hip, to the knee. And then... I'm drawing the knee to the side. 
we join the tie to the hip line and then we join the hip to the waist so this now our, our body is not straight like this is curved so what we just do is on this between the tie and the knee we take the midpoint of this line this is 13 so the midpoint of 13 is 6.5 so we just mark 6.5 come in by one inch or half inch so use it as a guide it's just a guide it's not like it's a constant just a guide to get your curve so this is it, this is the curve, the, because our laps, if you stand in front of the mirror, you see that your laps is not just straight, it's curved, so that is it. Therefore your head, hip to side, you just come in by half inch or so at the midpoint, and then you curve it, you curve your tie to your hip. So this is it. So this, let's label here front of our leggings, and we label here back of our leggings. So for the front of our leggings, on this waist, we come down by one inch. Because if you wear your leggings, you see that it's not directly on small, the, down com the front comes down, whether your leggings or your trousers, so we're coming down by one inch. Then let's repeat this drawing backward. Let's repeat this drawing line now backward, this straight line backward so that to be a guide for the back part. Or let's just make it to be on the safe side. Let's just make it 1.5. No, we took 1.5 before we threw the line. So we we'll just connect this one to it. So on this pattern, we took our waist measurement as 7.75. We do the same thing 7.75. So these are waist measurements. You can decide to repeat everything, but the reason why I'm just taking waist because for the back hip, for the back um, waist measurements, we have to extend. Why you come down by one inch at the front, you go up, but not by one inch, by one and up, especially for people with big hips. If the hip is very wide, as wide as 50 something, if I move as far as two inches upward. So this is the reason why we left one and up. So this one and up now, is the guide for this front for the back waist so this is where the back waist is actually starting from why the front waist is actually starting from so you just join this point of one and after this by a straight line so this is it so when you want to cut you can choose to follow the line okay let me do it back here let's cut Let's just take the one and add back here. So we'll cut from here like this. So let's cut. Okay, let me turn my pattern paper. So we're cutting the paper already. So we we'll go here like this first, and then follow the line and cut. So, like I said, if you want your leggings to stop or your tights to stop on your knee, then you just stop on it. Wherever you want it, you want it to be cut up, you just take your measure your tape and measure wherever you want it to stop. And then don't forget to add any allowance. So this is it. So this is it. So now I can open it now and then that's mark I made at the back. I'll just cut it like this. So this, is, so this is the front of the leggings and this is the back of the leggings. So I'll place it like this on fabric and cut. 
this is the fabric I'll be using. I actually got a leather fabric. Um, I just wanted to have something like something unique, slicky, you know. So this is the leather fabric. But the main thing is when you're making your leggings, make sure your fabric stretches two way. You can you won't use a, a stiff material to make your leggings and then expect it to lap where to fit where it must be super stretchy. So you can use polo material for those in Nigeria. We call it polo material, um, lycra, and all of that. Um, just use something that is super stretchy and two way stretch will be better. So I'll be, I can place my pattern in two different ways. This is the first way I can choose to fold my fabric into two like this into two like this then place my pattern on it but when I'm placing my pattern on it I will cut it following the back pattern after cutting following the back pattern then I'll open it up and reshape it in the front pattern to get because if you cut it following the front pattern this part will be missing. How will you fix it back into the back pattern? So you cut following back pattern, just fold it into two like this. Well, sorry, the material is leather, so it's just moving up and down, okay? So you just place it like this, fold it. Make sure then, when you're cutting, make sure you add half inch that you're using joining the, the the leggings so when you place it like this follow this back pattern to cut then after cutting open it up and reshaping it because don't forget this part is reduced or you can open it like this and then open like this to cut follow it round and cut so whichever way but i'm going to cut it now and then you see what it looks like okay, so i've cut my my leggings now on fabric you can see the slanted part on the front pattern this is the front this is the back so this is it so the two side now and don't forget i forgot to tell you you are making you are cutting two patterns two of it two of that front and back going together so the two patterns now this is one this is the other one so the right side both right side are facing each other so when you place them together you pin the crotch this is the crotch now you pin it round, you pin this other side. So you take it to the sewing machine, sew it to this end, sew it to this end by half inch. So I'm taking it to the machine now and I'm going to sew it by half inch. So I've sewn this side now by half inch. So I'll be joining the second side by half inch, the other side by half inch. So I'll just place it on my machine like this. And so. Joined the two sides, the two crotch. So I'll just turn my leggings like this. So this is the leg. Now I'll join the legs. So first of all, the main crotch where it joined, I'll make sure the, the two joining touches each other. So I'll just place them together and then secure it with a pin. first so that the two lines can touch each other you can open it like this inside and confirm that the lines touch each other straight then you, can, you pin the remaining parts of the leg down pin the side down so after pinning you see it so this is it now i pinned the crotch and then because you must pin the crotch before you pin other parts of the legs so i'll just take it to my machine back again and so, so I'll sew it straight down from here to the crotch. I'm not stopping and then to this part and my leggings will be ready then we'll see other things we need to do on our leggings. So my leggings is almost ready. I've turned it to the front, the correct side. You can see now the difference between your leggings and your trousers. If it's a trouser, they would have been joining by the side. But for your leggings, there's no joining. So that's why you cut your front and back together. But there's something I forgot to tell you is for the band. I want to add band to my leggings. And if you're adding band to your leggings, 
whatever inch you are using for your band, you subtract it from your hip drop and from your coach. When we are making the pattern, our hip drop was 8 inches, our coach was 10 inches. So if we are doing a, a 1 inch band, meaning that we are subtracting 1 inch from the hip drop, which is 8, eight so it will now be 7. We are subtracting 1 inch from the coach, which is 10, it will now be 9. And, but when you are cutting your band, you will not cut exactly 1 inch, you will add half inch. That half inch now will be what you use to join this part. By the time you join it with the half inch, it will now be exactly one inch. So I'll be joining adding band. When I was cutting it, I reduced the band measurement. So this is the band. This is my waist measurement. Though it's stretchy, so I reduced it by two inches. So my waist is 35 volts. This is 33. So this is 33 inches. Then there's something I want you to see that I did on the band now. This is 33 inches. But this top of the band, because I want it to rest on my skin. Let's assume this is my waist now. I want it to rest. I don't want it to be like this place. This place is big. We'll reduce here and reduce here. So this is it. These are the two ends of my band. I came in by half inch and then just treat the same thing. So what I'll just do is put the two correct side together and then sew here. By the time I sew here, you'll see what it looks like. So these are the two sides now joined. Because the reason I'm joining it because I've already joined the whole waist of my of my leggings. So I just want to fix the band into it. So I've joined this now. I'll just turn it like this and then fold it to so the joining now will not show. So this is it. The joining now is not showing on any end. So I'll just place it. So this joining now that where I did the joining, I can decide to place it on the front or the back, but I'll place it at the back. So I'll just place it at the back like this. You know it's folded now. Place it on the back. I'll pin it. Then I'll pin it around. Now another way to pin is you can also do it like this. Still the way it's folded. Sorry, it's the folding is going out because of the nature of the fabric. Still folded like this. This is the side we saw. This other side, you notch. This all called notching. Then you fold like this again. Then you notch. So the reason is, this part will be at the back joining. This notch part will be at the front joining. So it will be evenly distributed. So by the time I pin, place it and sew it, join it, you see what it looks like. So this is the band. I've added the band. Wow, doesn't it look beautiful? Yeah, sure, it does look beautiful so just make your leggings i'll be expecting you all to make your leggings fabric of your choice but it has to be stretchy so this is it i'm going to rock my leggings <laughs> outside this video so well i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and please give it a thumbs up if you really got value give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll be making other videos and I'll notify you when I do. Bye.